All right, this is number seven, number 18, excuse me, on the Benchmark 5, Chapter 4 Review Packet. Here's the problem, a water tank in the form of an inverted cone is being filled at a rate of four cubic meters per minute. So an inverted cone would look like this. And it's being filled, so there's, there's water or whatever, some type of liquid, filling it up. The radius would be here, the height would be here. Okay. It's being filled at 4 cubic meters per minute. <clears throat> so if it's being filled, should that be a positive 4 or a negative 4? Positive. If it was being drained or emptied, then it would be a negative 4. And this is definitely a change in time, right? The minutes is a change in time, so that's going to be a dt. But how about cubic meters? That's a change in volume. Volume. So that's going to be a dv. So dv over dt is 4 cubic meters per minute. <coughs> the radius is twice the height. So r equals 2h. Radius is twice the height of the cone. How fast is the water level rising? So we want to know how fast h is rising, how fast h is changing. So what are we trying to find, actually? dh over dt. dh over dt. Good. All right. And you want to know how fast it's rising when the water is 2 meters deep, so when h equals 2 meters. Um, it tells us that our volume formula for a cone is 1 third pi r squared times h. So show your work and label your answer. All right, first step. We want to take the derivative of both sides to find dh dt. But we have a problem because we have a variable on the left but two variables on the right. We don't want two variables on the right. Okay. How can I get the right side to only be one, have one variable instead of two? Plug in 2h for r. Right? There. So volume equals 1 third pi. Instead of r, you're going to have 2h quantity squared times h. And you're going to square everything in there. So you're going to get 2h times 2h, or square the 2, square the h. And you're going to get 1 third pi times 4h squared times h. Keep simplifying. Don't do the derivative too early. Get it simplified as much as you can before you find the derivative. 4 times 1 third is 4 thirds pi. h squared times h is h to the third. There's my simplified volume equation. With only volume on the left and height on the right side. This is where you want to do your derivative. You don't want to start plugging in your values of h and v or anything yet. Okay? Do the derivative now first. So the derivative of v would be dv over dt Take 3 times 4 thirds pi and that would give you 4 pi Take that exponent down to h squared And then by the chain rule, what do I have to put on the end? dh over dt okay. Now we can start plugging in our numbers What could I plug in for dv over dt? And the question said, um, find how fast is the water level rising? So we're trying to find dh dt when the water is two meters deep. So the height of the water would be two. So plug in that two for h. That's going to give us four equals two squared is four times four pi would be sixteen pi times dh over dt. What would be the next step? Divide by 16 pi on both sides, you get 4 divided by 16 pi equals dh over dt. Now, if you, if you want to get a, an actual decimal answer, take 4 divided by 16 pi, but the calculator is not going to know that you want pi in the denominator unless you tell it that by putting parentheses here. So make sure you take 4 divided by and then parentheses 16 pi. Otherwise, it's going to think you're taking 4 16 times pi. So those parentheses are important. Um, and then the answer comes out to 0 0.079577. Go out at least three decimal places. And what would be the label on that if it's change in height over a change in time? Meters per minute. Meters per minute. <coughs> Anyone have any questions about that problem? What if there was a second part to the problem that said find how fast the radius is changing? Put that back in for each. Okay, what?
what, what can I do with this expression right here if I want to know how fast the radius has changed? Do the derivative of that, yep. So the derivative of r would be dr dt equals derivative of 2h would be 2 <coughs> times derivative of h should be dh over dt. And so to, get how fine, to find how fast the radius is changing, which is called dr over dt, you would just take 2 times your previous answer, your dh dt, multiply it by 2. Okay. In other words, the radius is changing twice as fast as the height is changing. Whatever 2 times 1079577 would be, that would tell you how fast your radius is changing. <coughs> At that one instant in time when the water is 2 meters deep. Any questions? <coughs>